Hello, Happy New Year. I'm Vinny and this is Make a Chat 7. Notice anything different about this video? And I'm not talking about the new logo, which I'll talk about here in a second. Hopefully this video looks better than my previous videos. Uh, you might even be watching this in 4K. That's because I got a new camera. I got a Panasonic G7. Found a really great deal on it. Just couldn't pass it up. Uh, it replaces my old Olympus EP3, which is a great still photography camera. I've been using this camera to make these videos for about the past two years. And great still photography camera. As a video camera, it's not the best. The video quality just... I haven't been really thrilled with the video quality. Um, some other aspects of it just are a little annoying when making videos. Uh, the, the Panasonic G7 addresses like all those problems and then some. It's, so far, it's I, I think it's a great camera. I'm selling my EP3 if you are interested. Uh, it's on eBay. The auction ends in a couple days. I'm also selling some accessories, a viewfinder, a lens, a uh, mic input. So links down below until the auction ends and then I'll take those links down. So I made a new logo. I've gone through several logos over the years. The, the last logo I made in I think February of 2015 and the idea at the time was I would use that logo for a year and then after New Year's come up with something new which is what I did but I didn't want to completely rebrand, completely start from scratch. So because that's just not a good idea, it just confuses people. So I try to carry over a lot of the same design elements to the new logo. Um, hopefully it's not too confusing. And I will hold on to this new logo for at least a year, maybe longer, we'll see. I hope you all had a good holiday season, good New Year's. Uh, my Christmas and my birthday, which was just a couple days ago, were both very kind to me in the tool department. I got some cool new tools. I got this Rockwell compact circular saw. It's got a four and a half inch blade. It can cut through two by fours. I don't own a circular saw or a table saw. I don't have room for a table saw, though it would be awesome to have one. Uh, but this, no, this won't replace a table saw, but this should be all the circular saw I need. Uh, I hear very good things about these. It's, more compact than a full-size circular saw, but I don't think I need a full-size circular saw. These are supposedly quite powerful. I haven't actually used this yet, but I'm looking forward to that. I got a new Dremel. Uh, I got a Dremel 3000. My old Dremel, which is a cordless one, it's a Dremel stylus. This thing has served me very well for many years, but lately I've noticed that the battery just doesn't hold a charge for very long. So, I got this new one, it's corded, so a little less convenient, but it's more powerful and I won't have to worry about stopping halfway through a project to charge the battery, which will be nice. Uh, it's still small enough though, I think I can do detail work with this one. And plus I still have this one, I can always use it whenever I need to. Another nice thing is this thing will work with all the like extra attachments and things that Dremel makes, you know, like I think they make a, uh, like a drill press and maybe a router base that uh, this will fit into that. This one doesn't fit into those things. So I'm excited about the new Dremel. Also got a wood burning uh, tool. I haven't done any wood burning since Boy Scouts, but uh, this should be fun. I got a bunch of uh, tips with it too. Um, should have some fun with that. Got a vise for the drill press. That will be very handy. I got some new countersink bits. I have some countersink bits. They're the kind that have like the uh, like a normal drill bit in the middle for uh, drilling pilot holes at the same time. Um, and they're, they're useful in certain situations, but I think this style will be more versatile. I got a digital angle gauge. I hear good things about these. This will be nice for the bandsaw and drill press. Got some new clamps. Can't have too many clamps. Can't have too many big clamps. These are big 24 inch clamps. Haven't owned a clamp this big. Although I've done projects where I wish I had some big clamps. So I got two of these. I like this style of clamp a lot. They're a little expensive um, compared to other styles, but 
they're very nice. I like this trigger action. You can really clamp down tight. The release works well. I like the big feet on these. And I like that one of the feet pivots. Although I wish that it was this foot that pivots because that's the one that moves. And I've had situations where, you know, you put something kind of here and you clamp down on it and it just would be nicer if this was the foot that pivoted. But anyway, it's nice to have one pivoting foot at least. I also got this bad boy. This is a uh, two and a half gallon shop vac. I've never owned a shop vac before, but uh, previously I've been using our like normal house vacuum as a shop vac, which is probably not the best use for uh, a normal house vacuum. But now I got shop vac. It's small and compact, which is good for me because I don't have a lot of space, but it seems pretty powerful. So that'll be good to help keep down on dust. I'm actually excited about that. So special thanks to my wife, my parents, my in-laws. They're the ones that got me all this awesome stuff. So thank you guys. So let's see, previous projects. I've posted two project videos since the last Make a Chat video, which was like a month ago. I've been very busy here, holiday season, making a lot of things for people, including those Indiana and Ohio shaped plates with the little six ounce glasses that go with them. I made that for my dad. Um, that video I think turned out really nice. Those, those plates turned out really nice in my opinion. Uh, oh, the other video I made, these Chicago State Christmas ornaments, uh, or I made one of these. And then actually after the fact, I made, I made six more. I, I used the bandsaw to make these. I didn't do it by hand. And it's a lot easier on the bandsaw than just using hand tools. Uh, but these uh, I have on my Etsy shop for sale if anyone's interested. I know it's not Christmas season anymore, but if anyone's interested, they're up there and they will be for a while. Worked on a bunch of other projects that I don't have videos for, although I filmed one of them. I made something for my mom. And then as I was finishing up, I realized that I misinterpreted what she actually wanted. So I'm gonna have to redo that, but I do have footage from the first time. And I'll probably edit that and post that video. I made more piggy banks. If you remember, I made an elephant shaped piggy bank for my niece, Abby. This time around for Christmas, I made two more banks for my other two nieces on my side. I made a turtle for Georgia and I made a goat for my niece, Katie. Uh, Katie's favorite animals are goats. She's, she's two years old. Uh, I think those turned out really nice, I, but I didn't do a video because I already did a video on the elephant one. I wanted to do a project that I just didn't have time for. I wanted to make a ukulele for my nephew, Judd, and I plan to do that still. I have all the supplies for it. I just haven't finished it. I just ran out of time, unfortunately. So years ago, I made a ukulele from like essentially a cigar box. And well, that thing cost me eight stitches and a scar, but I made it. And then I got a real ukulele. And so I gave that cigar box ukulele to my in-laws and for their grandkids to play with. And my nephew Judd really loves the thing. So I'm gonna make him a ukulele of his own that he can keep at his house. And it's same idea, though I'm not gonna use, I'm gonna make a box, but I'm gonna keep the design simple. So it should be easy to make. And it's also gonna be pretty robust so that it can hopefully handle the abuse that a three-year-old can dish out. Um, but I'm gonna film that and I'll post a video and I think, I think that'll be good if it works out. Other plans for 2016. Oh, I got, I got some skateboard wheels and trucks. So I've been talking about making a skateboard, well, a longboard for a while with the bandsaw and now I've got the trucks and the wheels. That project should be happening fairly soon, although it's January in Chicago, and that is not a good time to be learning how to ride a skateboard, but I will be making that sometime in the future. I've had a number of people ask me to do a shop tour video, which, which is funny to me. Uh, I like shop tour videos, um, don't get me wrong, but it's funny because I don't have a shop. Um, I do all my work in our spare bedroom, which 
um, is also our guest bedroom and it's also the office and it's the space I have to work in. I mean, literally my workspace is this, this top right here. I mean, um, I have some tools over there in the, uh, on the floor, but this is my workspace. So I don't really have a shop, uh, but I'll do a shop tour anyway. Uh, you can see the tools I have and you can see how I deal with such a tiny amount of space. So I plan to do that in the near future. I've also had a lot of people ask me how I shoot the videos, how I edit videos and all that. So what I think I'll do is I'll break that up into two more videos. I'll do one video where I talk about how I shoot videos, the gear I use and all of that. It'll be a little technical, a little geeky. So if you're not into it, don't watch it. And then I'll do a second video where I will talk about how I edit the videos, software I use, how to edit audio, how I make my graphics and all of that. That'll also be pretty geeky, pretty technical. Those are going to be a little bit down the road because with this new camera, my workflow is kind of in flux. I'm still getting used to this new camera and what it, all it can do and ideal settings and how to deal with the files afterwards and all of that. Um, but look for that coming up sometime down the road. If you have suggestions on videos you want to see from me, either specific project videos or general project ideas, you know, more woodworking or less woodworking, more electronics or more photography or wh whatever, leave a comment below. I am open to the suggestions. I mean, this isn't television. This is YouTube. It's a lot more interactive. It's more of a two-way street in my opinion. Also, if you have ideas for make a chat videos, topics you'd like to see me talk about, give my opinions, show off something, whatever. Again, leave a comment. I'd love to hear your suggestions. 2014 was the best year for Makeify so far, and that is thanks to you, the viewers. Everyone who's watched my videos, liked my videos, commented on my videos, shared my videos, whatever, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I think 2016 is going to be even better, and I, I can't thank you enough for watching and subscribing and liking and all of that. I hope you have a great new year and I'll see you next time. Uh, logo for the new year for 2015. Uh, oh shoot. <clears throat> so I have a new logo. No. So I have, uh, I have some counter bits.